From across the five boroughs, we come together to build one New York, breaking new ground and reaching new heights. From construction to design and engineering, from real estate developers to our vital public sector, from hospitals and universities to museums and stadiums, we are connecting as one network to shape the future of this extraordinary city. In our newest report, we highlight the building industry's vital contributions to one of New York's most important economic sectors. As people continue to visit New York in record numbers, we're witnessing an unprecedented investment in our cultural and tourism infrastructure. This growth extends well beyond Manhattan with new cultural institutions in all five boroughs, emerging hotel markets in the Bronx, Queens, and Brooklyn, and new retail on Staten Island. So just how big is this tourism boom? Recently completed or under construction projects will result in an estimated $12.8 billion in total economic output, generate over $4.6 billion in wages, and employ more than 48,000 individuals. All of this success would not be possible without the incredible women, men, and organizations that make up the building industry, sparking innovation and sharing their bold vision for New York City's future. Building Congress Chairman Milo Reverso and STV are constructing the hills at Governor's Island. Meridian, which is working to deliver the LaGuardia Airport Central Terminal B project, and Turner Construction, building cultural institutions like the Whitney Museum. From high rises to residential towers, hospitals, hotels, and more, engineering legend Anya Brazel of Thornton Tomasetti has tackled projects in nearly every building category. And today, she continues to innovate, to influence, and to transform the industry. Anya's designs are ones that are, again, fearless. She takes a problem and she solves it. She understands if someone's gonna walk on something, climb on something, walk under it. She has to keep the public in mind and she is not afraid to devise really smart, really innovative and solid solutions. Anya's leadership as a, uh, a senior woman in a male-dominated field is something that is really powerful and hopefully um, really inspiring to younger women. She is very comfortable in any room, um, even if she's the only woman, and sometimes maybe especially if so, because she just is fearless. The Jacob K. Javits Center, New York's only purpose-built convention and exhibition center, is undergoing an unprecedented expansion thanks to Governor Andrew Cuomo and the Empire State Development. Once complete, the re-envisioned facility will attract businesses, organizations, and innovators from all over the globe. There's, you know, a lot of competition from so many cities to host venues. Cities are starting to appreciate and really kind of monetize the economic benefit that you get when you host, you know, a big trade show or you host a big event. And it's imperative that New York have a facility that can kind of capture those functions. It'll be, you know, one of the largest green roofs uh, in North America. It's going to have the largest ballroom in uh, North America. When it's done, it's got capacity to hold 1,500 people. I think the Javit is, is, you know, very important in the long-term economic future of New York. With an increase in visitors comes the need to expand our transportation hubs and LaGuardia Gateway Partners are hard at work on the renovation and expansion of the airport's bustling Terminal B. We're lucky to have LaGuardia Gateway Partners working right in our backyard to help transform LaGuardia Airport into the world's leading transportation hub. LaGuardia Gateway Partners was chosen by Governor Cuomo to oversee the reconstruction and operation of Terminal B, a crucial pathway to our city. As a collective comprised of the industry's brightest leaders, LGP has demonstrated how we can all work together to revitalize and update our city's infrastructure so it works on behalf of all New Yorkers. Congratulations to the entire team and to Stuart Steves on this great honor. Industry pioneer, dedicated philanthropist, a driving force in tourism. Thanks to his innovation, his generosity, and his goodwill, Jonathan Tisch's love for New York City will be felt 
for generations to come. Mr. Tish embodies the legacies of Jack and Louis Rudin. In order to receive the Jack and Louis Rudin Award, uh, an individual really has to show being committed to the city, being passionate about the city. You know, whether it's bringing the Grammys here, uh, bringing the Super Bowl, the first time uh, a Super Bowl was ever uh, in the, the New York City area. There are very few institutions in the city that doesn't have uh, a Tisch uh, on the board or uh, been a recipient of their largesse. Uh, and Jonathan uh, and his wife Lizzie have really done so many things for, for our city. Thanks to the members of the New York Building Congress, the future of New York City is brighter than ever.